Pluto is a distant and jumbling planet that was once fundamental for our close-by planetary systems family. However, disturbing statements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a surprising revelation. They suggest that it is on a potential path to crash into Neptune. Yet, how could this happen? And what might be the consequences of such a tremendous event? Are we seeing an approaching crash? Or is there something different about this oncoming epic disaster? Join us as we explore the potential outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, a former planet that was renamed a dwarf planet, partly because of its eccentric orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in mainstream research. As shown by recent assessments by leading experts, Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a possible collision between these two planets that could have significant implications for Earth. How is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our solar system. It takes a staggering 248 years to complete a single orbit, meaning that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. However, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its highly elongated shape, diverging drastically from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more intriguing is its inclination, set at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its path is much more tilted compared to other planets. This inclination and irregularity add layers of complexity to its orbital dynamics. Possibly one of the most interesting aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's orbit. For almost 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we would expect from their positions in the nearby planetary system. This prompts the regular question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to figure out its unusual orbit. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie fairly close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stands out with its steep inclination and irregular shape. The mystery grew with the realization that Pluto's orbit does indeed cross Neptune's. The complexity of Pluto's orbit amid these intricacies is evidence of the complexities of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space is about figuring out how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and interact with each other through their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on one another. In Pluto's case, this issue shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complicated way. The terms alpha libration, degree libration, and the Kozai effect are crucial to understanding this question. As demonstrated by astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon called alpha libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term basically means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is arranged around 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from affecting each other. Libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned well above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of protection from potential collisions. Another major factor in this scenario is the Kozai effect, named after three researchers, Zippel, Leo, and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It's about how three celestial bodies, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other through their gravity. This pull affects how they move. In Pluto's case, the Kozai effect helps us understand why its orbit around the Sun is so peculiar. Despite Pluto's orbit seeming chaotic, this effect helps keep it moving smoothly. The Kozai effect shows that although things in space might appear wild and unpredictable, certain patterns and laws maintain order. These factors help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring it doesn't collide with Neptune or lose its course. This three-body problem is key to understanding how these orbits change based on how these celestial bodies pull on each other. Focusing on this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and even distant stars and galaxies. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stabilizing factors, Pluto's orbit is still somewhat volatile, 
with small variations in initial conditions leading to huge differences over long periods. However, these amazing properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over extremely long timescales, effectively keeping the chaos in check. Ongoing computer models have helped us understand how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto, where for every orbit Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This connection helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only one involved. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role in safeguarding Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes as well. These simulations show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a steady path for long periods, even billions of years. It seems that Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues moving safely through space without running into problems. These phenomena are essential in understanding the universe, as they maintain the control and stability of celestial body movements. Without these forces, the solar system as we know it would be a place of much greater chaos and unpredictability. Bodies like Pluto might collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, causing a domino effect on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, particularly, with discussions about it potentially colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. Critical, this gives us a clearer picture of the elements of our planetary group. The instance of Pluto shows how even the most apparently shaky orbits can accomplish a condition of strength through the multifaceted trade of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It likewise highlights the significance of steady observation and investigation of these peculiarities to better grasp our position in the universe. Investigating the depths of space frequently drives us to confront the peculiar nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is an ideal illustration of this inconsistency. The idea of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is strikingly represented in the case of Pluto. This implies that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or velocity can decisively alter its long-term trajectory. In the vastness of our planetary system, Pluto occupies a unique position that challenges our understanding of planetary classification and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study, leading to significant revelations about its structure and behavior. One of the most captivating aspects of Pluto is its surface, which is a complex tapestry of ice, rock, and various compounds. NASA's New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided striking data about this distant world. The surface of Pluto is characterized by large fields, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most surprising features is Sputnik Planitia, a giant heart-shaped plane composed primarily of nitrogen ice. This area exhibits a variety of landforms, including vast ice cliffs and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features suggests that Pluto might still be geologically active, despite its great distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another intriguing aspect of Pluto is its atmosphere, primarily made up of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is thin but shows interesting seasonal variations. As Pluto draws closer to the sun in its elongated orbit, its atmosphere can expand and become more dynamic. This behavior reflects the complex interaction between Pluto and its atmosphere. During Pluto's closest approach to the Sun, some atmospheric gases may freeze onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the atmosphere. The interaction between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that both bodies are in a shared orbit around a point in space that lies between them rather than Pluto simply revolving around Charon. This unique relationship contributes to the complex gravitational dynamics in the region, affecting the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated with small icy bodies, is home to many other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt is a reservoir of ancient material from the early solar system, giving scientists a brief glimpse into its formation. Pluto's orbital characteristics might offer insights into the formation patterns of these distant objects, 
suggesting that interactions with larger planets may have played a crucial role in shaping their current orbits. One of the key implications of understanding Pluto's orbital mechanics is the potential impact on how we comprehend the solar system's evolution. Gravitational interactions from neighboring giant planets, like Jupiter and Neptune, can alter the orbits of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper Belt. Such interactions can lead to changes in orbits, potentially causing collisions or ejections from the solar system. As scientists continue to study the details of these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns that govern the behavior of celestial bodies throughout the universe. The study of Pluto also raises philosophical questions about classification in astronomy. The decision to rename Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 was controversial, sparking debates about the very definition of a planet. Pluto's orbital relationship with Neptune and its position in the solar system serve as powerful reminders of the complexity of the universe. Through continued research, we can deepen our understanding of these distant worlds and the forces that govern their movement. As we continue to investigate Pluto's unique orbital features, it is essential to recognize how the gravitational forces exerted by distant planets shape the behavior of objects in the outer solar system. While Pluto's orbit may seem chaotic at first glance, it is precisely these intricate interactions that allow it to maintain stability despite its apparent instability. As we delve deeper into the mechanics of Pluto's orbit, we uncover more layers of complexity, shedding light on the dynamic processes that govern the movement of celestial bodies. One interesting aspect of Pluto's relationship with Neptune is the long-term stability of their orbits despite their periodic proximity. This is due to a special resonance between the two bodies, known as a 3-2 orbital resonance. For every three orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune completes two. This resonance keeps Pluto and Neptune in a stable configuration, preventing them from colliding despite their overlapping orbits. The stability provided by this resonance is a striking example of how gravitational interactions can ensure the orderly motion of celestial objects. This 3-2 resonance is the result of the gravitational tug-of-war between Pluto and Neptune. Each time Pluto and Neptune approach one another in their orbits, their gravitational fields interact in such a way that ensures their paths remain synchronized over long periods. The result is a system where, even as Pluto crosses into Neptune's orbit, the two bodies are always carefully separated by the constant resonance. Therefore, the likelihood of a collision is virtually non-existent. 